In this video, I'm going to show you how you can watch 3D Blu-rays or 3D movies or 3D video content on your PSVR 2 headset using the new PC PSVR 2 adapter dongle. And in this tutorial, I'm only going to be using free software, so no worries on that end. And let's just jump into it. First things first, make sure you get your PSVR 2 headset and adapter set up. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video. But after that, the first thing you're going to want to get set up is getting your 3D Blu-ray. So I have Top Gun 3D here. So put your disc into your disc drive. The program that I use to rip copies of my physical movies is Make MKV, which I think is still free. The license is optional. And the most important thing in Make MKV is you're going to make sure you check off the 3D video track. By default, it wasn't actually copied because it's a bit of a strange video file, but just make sure that's checked off because that's the key to all of this and then we'll get that copied onto the computer. And just a heads up, this is not a fast process. Getting the 3D Blu-ray onto the VR headset takes like a couple hours, especially copying from the disc and then the re-encoding of the video that you're gonna have to do. There was this other app that I found called M3XVR. That sounds really great, but it's not available on Steam VR right now. It only works on Quest or Pico headsets, but this program looks super cool because it lets you play the MKV file or maybe even directly from the Blu-ray straight to the headset. But the PSVR 2 only works with Steam VR, as far as I know so far. We're gonna just stick with that. The next piece of software you're gonna need is called BD3D to MK3D. And this is a software that'll convert your Blu-ray file that is ripping from Make MKV right now, and it'll put it into a side-by-side -side video file which is what we're going to need to play it in the VR headset once we get to that point. Once Make MKV is done, you're going to have a MKV file. So that's the full quality 3D Blu-ray disc and then open BD3D to MK3D. Drag in this file and this is as good a time as any to strip the MKV file of any other language, audio or subtitle tracks that you won't be needing if you didn't already. Saving a bit of space never hurts. You don't have to do this, but I unchecked the half quality option here because I want a full quality movie, though this will probably take a lot longer to remux it. Um, but I don't think this is a fast process anyways. I have a pretty powerful computer and this took about like an hour. So you're going to let that run. There's a few steps where you have to like press OK. You also need a supplementary piece of software called AV Synth Plus. And you can always read up on the wiki if you want to know more specifics about these pieces of software. The final piece of software you're going to need besides Steam VR and the PSVR 2 app on Steam is called Big Screen Beta. So this is kind of a social hangout theater space app, but we'll get to configuring that later. So now that all of this is done, you're going to have a side by side video file of this 3D movie that you've copied. So this is what it looks like normally. This is the full quality 1080p Top Gun. So this video file is like 3840 by 1080 because it's two 1080p video files next to each other. And then now we are ready to go into VR and we're ready to open big screen. So get your PSVR to open into Steam VR, open big screen VR, and then it's gonna put you into a virtual theater room or a virtual living room. To open the settings in this app, hit the R3 button and you can change your environment. I like this fancy home theater setup, but there's also quite a few big theater environments. So basically this app, it shows your desktop on the big theater screen and you can point and navigate your computer from there. So let's open up that side-by-side -side video file that we just made and whatever video player of your choice, I have VLC. VLC is always a safe bet for any sort of video files. I like VLC because it has lots of customization options. If you need to adjust the aspect ratio or something, you can do all of that from within VLC. If you watch my other video about getting RPCS3 working in this similar setup in big screen, you're going to need some aspect ratio changes. So I was expecting to do something similar with the movie, but the video file seemed to work okay. And then once that's playing on the big screen and full screen, we need to make it 3D. So hit the R3 again. There's this option here that lets you toggle between a few different 3D options. So we're going to set it to side by side and we should be good to go. Another way is opening the personal display and then there's a quick toggle on the side and then you can hit the minimize button. So there's two options there to enable 3D. So here's Top Gun in 3D. 
And oddly enough, the home theater environment that I've been using in big screen had a Top Gun poster in the back. So that's just a funny little coincidence. And if you want to scrub through the movie, you're going to have to point in the middle. So that's how you watch 3D movies with your PSVR 2 headset using entirely free software. And it's a pretty complicated process, but this is what we got to do because Sony didn't add native 3D movie support on the PSVR 2 when it's connected to the PS5. So this is what we had to resort to. Well, hopefully this was a very useful tutorial and you can figure out how to play all sorts of 3D video content on your PSVR 2 headset with a pretty similar approach. And thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And let me know down below if you managed to get it working or if this was a helpful tutorial.